Under ideal conditions, the population of a certain species doubles every nine years. If the population starts with 100 individuals, which of the following expressions would give the population of the species T years after the start, assuming that the population is living under ideal conditions? All right. I know that's a lot, but you got to think about what's happening here. So you start off with the population of 100 individuals, all right? Then it doubles, meaning that, gonna, that is going to go to 200. Then that doubles, that's going to go to 400. Then that doubles, that's going to go to 800. And that's going to keep happening. What's happening to those numbers each time is you're multiplying those numbers by 2 because it doubles, right? Now, this is the population. So if I had a T chart, this would be my X. Well, in this case, T. And this would be my P, my population, or my Y, whatever you want to call it. But instead of it happening every year, because usually we'll have like one, two, three, four, um, it happens every nine years. So we will use zero to represent the initial year, nine the next year, 18 the next year, and then so forth, right? We will add nine more to that, and that will be 27. Now, this lets me know that this is an exponential function. And a, the standard formula for an exponential function is f of x equal a, B to the X, where the A is the initial amount and the B is the amount that it's changing by. Okay, that's the growth factor. In this case, we don't have X, we have T. So what we would say, and I, I'm instead of saying F, I'm going to say P. So P of T, P standing for population, T standing for time, in years is going to equal to A, which is the initial amount, is what's how much you started with, which is 100. And then our growth factor is 2. And our X is T, but remember, it's not changing every year. It's changing every nine years. So what we need to do is divide that T by nine. Now, how do I know that? So if I look at my chart over here, when I plug in zero for T, I get 100 times two to the zero divided by nine. Zero divided by nine is zero. Two to the zero is one. 100 times one is 100, right? But when I plug in nine, Let's see what happens. I get nine divided by nine. That's two to the nine divided by nine. Nine divided by nine is one. Two to the first is two. Two times 100 is 200. And so that would be P of nine, okay? That's how you could check the C. Um, so you know your answer has to be either one of these last two, but that's how you could check the C. Is it nine times T or is it T divided by nine, all right? So your final answer would be this last answer right here. This is a sample problem of what you might experience on the TSI math test. If you want more practice for the TSI math test, go ahead and subscribe to my page and go find my free TSI math prep course.